Brother Monroe here, welcome back to Ultimate Apple Trinots and the French Campaign, where I'm actually doing a little bit of recording off Twitch, um, mainly because I, I kind of want to, to get the French Campaign moving a bit, it's it's become a little bit seamy, I'm not going to kick, um, uh, keep any uh, uh, battles out or anything like that, but... Um, I'm wanting to do them a little bit faster, kind of concentrate on getting some more building done because it's just been a lot of the same sort of thing. The uh, AI just kind of trying the same tactic over and over and over again. Um, and really, I kind of want them to uh, stop for a bit. <laughs> but in order to do that, I'm going to need to uh, completely destroy them. Of course, uh, there is no other way. Yeah, as soon as I get that um, gun tech, can begin. Two more Austrian battleships should be able to deal with them relatively quickly. would be nice if we get some more cruiser classes as well, but it's probably a while yet before we get access to them. There's a big... There, there's, um, there's a few periods in the game where you kind of don't want to build hulls because they're getting obsolete. These scout cruisers are very nice. Um, we just keep losing them because I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you... You know, when you, when you first get Dreadnoughts, the pre-Dreadnoughts become significantly less useful. Although ours have been performing pretty well. Um, and uh, with your cruisers, there's a period where, you know, Dreadnoughts have come along, battle cruisers have come along, and particularly the heavy cruisers are, yeah, pretty much obsolete. But uh, you don't get any new hulls uh, for a while, and then you get access to the modern heavy and light cruisers. Um, so yeah, there, there, there's a kind of weird period, which if you've watched my British campaign videos, um, where I did the time skips, it's it's very obvious because I was using a cruiser design in the 1910 star, based on the bike tour, uh, class cruisers of the Royal Navy, um, and I'm still using them in the 1920s start because yeah, they didn't did not have access to a to a better better hull. No, it's just the way it goes, uh, and reflects real yeah. again. Why why are you doing this, Montcalm? This is why I keep losing cruisers because when they are. And this is a moan about the division system more than anything. They take damage. What they're supposed to do is... Yeah, there you go. So, what they're supposed to do is fall out of the line. Away from the enemy. That's what you should do. Um, and then the enemy will switch targets because it's no longer the closest unit. And that's fine. But look, the... The, the Cos, Cosamo is doing the same thing. She is turning into the enemy when she's falling out of the line. Um, it'd be nice if the devs could add a little, um, a little bit of code just so that because I know that divisions are aware of which side the enemy is on, um, and they should uh, move out on the other side, not into. Because until she did that, I mean, she's taken a little bit of damage. Uh, the I can't really say, but um, because of Axe and Achilles both very badly damaged. It 
just a bit more attacking and seeking things, but for now, I think they're pretty crippled. It's a very interesting place to have a fire. Quite sure how that works. It's like we're, um, it's like those uh, things you see in oil refineries where they're burning them. Simple enough. Now, uh, what does that leave the Hungarians with? Uh, five ships. Let's get the blockade back. Oh, we have the Mark 14s. Ah, yes, I remember now. Um, we're getting Mark 3 8 inch guns, which is very nice. Uh, ship construction time, that might actually be worth waiting for. Uh, what are we getting here? No, no new hull. Well, not yet, anyway. Um, you can kind of tell how many hulls the game has to add because there's a few texts, such as this, where it says new hull available, but there isn't one. Um, particularly in the cruiser section. Uh, what are we getting in internals protection? Anti-flood three, yeah. I'm gonna wait one month and then we're gonna do some building. Hopefully it doesn't give me a battle immediately, although it probably will. Mm, building new ships. What you're building the war continues. Ah, we've I found the other Volta way over here in the Aegean. Well, we can uh, take care of her as well. Just gonna, oops. They send everybody in, but they've uh, done something weird with divisions. I don't think that I actually asked for that, but okay. Ugh, oh, wish I could build more of these. <laughs> uh, still, though, we are. It, it is nice to play with a bit of a self imposed challenge. And it's not like our old ships have been uh, performing terribly. I see Oslitz and uh, Alsace together, though. I do want to design the next ships as kind of a pair. Here is the Volta. Much of it last time I saw it. 
huge citadel. Basically has no armor at all. Oof. Attention, I thought that there was a heavy cruiser. It's firing torpedoes and all sorts, which is extremely rude of them. They are, however, getting absolutely wrecked for their trouble. And destroyed. No more invincible heavy cruisers. Well, it's very, very quick. <laughs> very quick. Okay. Uh, send the fleet back. Now that research should have finished. Yes. I don't care about, care about the high cap. Yes. Okay. Designing. That's what we're here to do. And this is partly why I wanted to record, um, record this offline, as it were. Because um, I, I kind of want to take my time over these. So here we have the Dreadnought 4. So this is going to be one of our ships. And the Battlecruiser 2. Yeah, basically, with and without casement guns is the main difference. Okay. Uh, the Lyon. Fair enough. Uh, those are pretty nice towers. Something something like that. Hmm. It would be nice to get some better rear towers. But I think, I think that looks okay. Now, of course, being a French ship, we will... Go for wide and shallow. We have the semi oil, which is very exciting. Really glad to have access to that now. Hopefully, we get oil as like proper oil soon, but semi oil makes a big difference. Let's just go for triple, triple hull, and these new 14 inch Mark threes. Also have access to triple guns, but uh, I think sticking with duels for now is going to be a better bet. Oh no, it's going to give me an half weight offset if I do that. Maybe I will use triples then. something a bit different um, from what we've seen so far. So those are 14 inch 53s. Now with the enhanced reloading, they only have a rate of fire of 0.95 rounds a minute. That is too slow. So I'm going to shorten them to a 45, I think. So a 45 has a rate of fire of 1.2 rounds per minute. That's still a little slow, but it is acceptably <laughs> slow. Like, I really don't like a rate of fire that's definitely not less than one. But uh, I'll, look at it. I'll look at around 1.5 1. to 2 um, is ideal for the main guns on a capital ship, I tend to find. 
There we go. Shorten. Shorten the citadel as much as possible. Oh yeah, you get a... That's a really neat... It's a really neat ship. Hmm. Okay, how much... Funnel capacity are we talking about? 66. Spike so connector, but not that one. That one would be ideal, but it doesn't fit. So I'm going to go for a tall funnel one. So we're going to have a little bit of smoke. What speed can I get to? Good grief. <laughs> what did they put in this thing? I could go all the way up to 30 knots. Right, then there's, there's a point where the displacement's going to go up like nobody's business. I'm just trying to find where that is. Yeah, it's here. So I think 20, 26, oops, 26 knots would be kind of the sweet spot. Um, it's not as fast as she could possibly go. And I could probably lower the funnel down to... Hmm, can't go down to a large two. I'd like to fit in advance. They just have those sticky out bits getting in the way. Um, anyway, we've got some uh, extra funnel capacity for later down the road. Could have been reduced. Reduced does say weight, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but not very much. And it makes it more expensive. Forced is cheaper. Okay, we'll stick with forced anyway. Um, yes. Okay, secondary guns. No, no, uh, casements, I mean. Now, I tend to prefer going for the smallest casements possible. Four inch guns. Some two inch for backup. However, that does give me a bit of an half weight offset, so I might come back and revisit them. Uh, what happens if I make them longer? Yeah, it doesn't change it a huge amount. Okay, I'm going to do the armor and then I'll. I might come back and change that. Now we've got the advanced armor still at three. Very nice. Uh, we're going to the RDF and a rangefinder. And we're pretty much there on weight. Except we have maximum buckets. Let's go down to standard. We don't need maximum buckets just yet. Um, now then, armor, these new 14 inch guns, I'm going to up, I'm going to up armor them, I'm going to do 16, 9, 18, 9, I mean, and 16, 8 on the main, 5 inch, I think it's fine, 4.5. Three. Just go for splinter protection on the superstructure. Nice thick conning tower. Uh, inner deck. Can we get as much as no? Oh wow, that's that's heavy. So not a lot in terms of internal protection. Uh, her range isn't great. I will say that. And we do have a little bit of an half weight offset. So I could I could move this forward. Uh, the gun, main guns forward. That might be a good idea, actually. But 
Yeah, no, weight's going to be an issue. Hmm. No, casement armor is something else I have not, not looked at. So tops, let's just go for three. Uh, two inch guns, just a couple of inches. If I go for, <laughs> yeah, 10.8. Hmm. I guess if I go up to six inch guns. Oh, it doesn't actually solve the offset nearly as much as I thought it would. Interesting. Stick with the four inch then, because it was making my roll worse as well. Um. Wait, you just have that offset problem. That is pretty, yeah, that's as far back as it can be. I want to try and fix it. significantly heavier it is. We do have much better firing arcs, particularly on a turret, for doing that. But uh, no, I, I, think it, I think it's worth keeping it compact. That is the advantage of triples, just with the aft weight offset. Yeah, do a torpedo launcher on the front. It's a bit weird, but it will help a little bit. In fact, it gives me a four-way offset. Jesus. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. It's, it's, okay. Uh, well, that is at least easy to bat. I can balance that out, I think. Hmm, not under the weight, I can't. So can I have a 3.2 forward weight offset, or a 5.4 aft? Well, I think the, um, I think the forward is, is a little bit better, although it's splitting here is. I need a fast torpedo. <laughs> um, sure, why not? And it is a single fast torpedo. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Sometimes, game, you do throw the weirdest things at me. So, yeah, we'll go for this. The Leon. She's a pretty good price. 73, actually, compared to the Ocelot. So, she is a, a sizable chunk more. But, uh, I don't think... Yeah, she's the most expensive warship we've ever built by a long shot. Hopefully, worth it. I think she's going to be pretty nasty. Hmm. Yes. I like it. Okay, let's save the design. And then we have another new one to build. Which is going to be the Richelieu, apparently. Change the name. No, I like Richelieu. I think I spelled that right. I will just check. Um, now this, I'm thinking, is going to be very similar uh, to the Lyon that I just built, or not. That's the case, maybe. No, it is going to be. It is going to be similar. Okay, 
because it's going to have a very similar look to it, but it's not going to have the casements. And I think it's probably only going to have six guns, but they're going to be 14, so it's going to look like it's going to be the uh, bigger brother of the Alsace. One thing I wish uh, I would like the devs to do is um, I think the default gun lengths are too long. So this was a four, this is a 53 caliber gun by default. I think it should be a 43 <laughs> by default. Um, like it is just just they're just way too long the default guns. Uh, it's it's better earlier on, but the late the late tech guns in particular are just off the charts. Yeah, this is going to be very similar. Very, very similar. Uh, get some th three inch casements. There we go. All right. Um, now then. For Fifty one. Go for a big funnel. Mm. Yeah, that one. Zero point seven percent smoke, but it doesn't give me enough hold cap. I'm going to go for the big one, I think. Go for the big one because you, it, it is supposed to be a battle cruiser. Although that is an excessive amount of speed. 32 knots, on the other hand. That is quite something. I think that'll be the first capital ship in the world capable of going that fast, going over 30 knots. Um, certainly the first of ours. I mean, the Lyon that we just designed would be doing 26 which is the same speed as the Alsace here. So basically our new battleship is as fast as our old battlecruiser, and our new battlecruiser is faster than anything else in the fleet except the destroyer. <laughs> the destroyers, um, which the original ones could do 35 and they can now do 37. So. Yeah, she's she's faster than the light cruisers by a lot. She's faster than the heavy cruisers. Yeah. Very nice. I wish I could build more than one. Um hmm. Standard setup. Now we are overweight. That is not promising because I have not up armored the ship yet. Hmm. What is so heavy? Yeah, the engines. I wonder if uh, reducing speed gets as much. Oh, okay, it gets us a lot back. Just going down a little bit, down to 31, gets us 9% of the ship back. So we'll dial back the speed a little bit. She's still a record breaker. Um, I wonder if we can get the same ultra chunky armor on that I had with the Leon. Yes, that was 
three, that was 1.5, and this was two. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna get the same level of deck protection. I don't think, casement armor, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, she's gonna have, gonna have a thinner inner deck layer, but otherwise, is just as well protected as the Leon. So she doesn't carry as much firepower, but she is much, much faster, which seems to be the French the French way. Now we do have an half weight offset. I'm going to do the same torpedo trick <laughs> with a reduced with a single fast 18 inch torpedo on the front. Purely for balancing reasons. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Might even be able to scoop the turrets a little bit closer together. Yep, there we go. Which improves the offset and uh, gives me a little bit of uh, wiggle room on uh, displacement when it comes to refitting the ship. She's a bit longer ranged as well than the, the Lyon. But there we go. The Richelieu <laughs> and the Lyon. Two new capital ships for France. How fabulous. And they are they are definitely of the same school. Um, built as a pair. I think that's quite cool as well. Hmm. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with those two. Look forward to seeing them in action. Get them under construction and uh, see how long they take. So, Leon 1. Richelieu 1. So Richelieu will be ready first, even though I designed her second. <laughs> and Leon will be ready first. Two years. A significant lead time when you're building new ships. Um, still, that will be very, very good indeed. Let's see if we can get them under blockade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. High capacity HE. Uh, oh, they're already blockaded, but continue the blockade, I should say. Um, those ships are now repaired. They can join up. Okay, how's the Austrian economy look? Wow, it's actually growing when they're blockaded. Seems unusual. Um, <laughs> so when do you ever see that? Just a war with everybody. It'd be nice if the British and the Germans would come help us, but uh, um, Alliance, but I have to pay for it. No, thank you. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. And let's just invade, because it's funny. <laughs> She'll invade you. Damn it. Uh, oh, I can order some more shipyards to be built. I don't need to. I mean, our latest ships. The Leon is the biggest ship we've ever built. And she's coming in at 35,000 tonnes. So, goodness, <laughs> goodness knows what the French designers are thinking of when they're like, no, 70,000 tonnes, this is not enough. We need 88,000 <laughs> ships. Oh, thinking big, France. I like it. Um, we'll expand until we get to the... I think it's about 120,000. You're not going to get beyond that. Ah! The entirety of the Austro-Hungarian Navy has appeared. Fabulous. So we have the Balaton and two destroyers... 
don't think this is going to go well for you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. Yeah, they did a hit. the drill by now. There shouldn't be uh, too much of a surprise what happens. Let's see what 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 are these two up to? somewhere. Need to watch out for those destroyers because I seem to remember they are pretty nasty. Oh wow, what a first hit, taking out a main gun, good shooting, Jean Barr, very good shooting, yeah, blew off the A turret, just the one with the good fire up. so, severely impacted uh, the warship's ability to do anything. Still not, you know, sunk or anything. Balaton dead in the water and soon to be sunk. Ancient design from 1901, not really lost, lasting very well. Uh, that's it. Austria doesn't have a navy anymore. I mean, they are building five ships, which potentially could be five battleships. Um, but uh, oh no, they they have finished some. There you go. They got a heavy cruiser. 
And two light cruisers finished already. This is where I wish you could sail into the into the port and blow them up. We'll talk. But uh, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I'm just going to auto resolve that. I can't be bothered. Sunk. Good. Other battle might be a little bit more interesting. The Duke de Lume and the Dart against a couple of light cruisers. the RDF ping. No, bad weather. Oh, whoa, what was that? <laughs> oh, the torpedo actually connected. Oh, torpedo. I was, so con uh, I was concentrating so hard on uh, trying to avoid with the dart. I completely missed a scoring uh, an ammo dip with our own torpedo. It's quite the hit. I thought they would pass me. Shit. That is my own damn silly fault. Get out of here, Dot. You did well, and then I completely mishandled you. I thought, oh, I've avoided the torpedoes. So I can move, move back, forgetting, of course. They were still going. Unfortunately, it was already turning. It seems to have way more torpedoes than I remember. Must be a new design. Poor old Dart, though. Bit of a sitting duck.
Nah, doesn't mean that the AI is going to hit. Oh. Excellent. Oh, there's a second set. Uh, that is also going to miss. Yes, these are new. Still. <laughs> five. Five. Miles. Uh, really, that's what you're going to pin all your hopes on, is it? There we go. Should sink it. Oh, it's not that way. Yeah, no armor on these things. Of course. Small arms fire should be able to finish her off. Or she can surrender. That's good too. We will uh, take the ship back for detailed analysis. They now have a single heavy cruiser. Yeah. Oh no, the war is over. They did decide to give up. Um, I mean, I could take the heavy cruisers off them, but I don't really want them. I will take the four hundred million dollars instead. Thank you very much. Eight inch Mark threes. Well, that's what you get, Austria-Hungary. Now then, let's get our ships back into port and let's... Yeah, I'm un unsurprisingly, they've replaced uh, Gottfried von Banfield with Franz Ferdinand. Have they put a, the Crown Prince, <laughs> who is still alive, apparently, the Crown Prince in charge? Well, it'd be embarrassing if he has to resign as well. Now then, French economy is now the, is the biggest in Europe. That is very nice. We still don't have a huge fleet compared to our allies. Not allies. Friends? Friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what on earth? I don't know if Britain and Germany have peaced out as well. Um, it's possible that they haven't. Now, in terms of the fleet, uh, the entire fleet, can you go on to limited, please? That should save a fair amount of money. The rest is because we are building. Building the shipyard expansion and building new vessels. Oh, which is all very, very good. Now, um, I don't think there's another design uh, that I'm going to be able to do, or at least not soon. Uh, now that I do have the 14-inch 
guns, I am perfectly happy, um, perfectly happy building things, but uh, what are we getting? The Dreadnought 5, okay, nine months away. Dreadnought 5, and that's it, I think. Right, well, I think I will uh, stop the video here, and uh, I'll see you in nine months. Uh, so, kind of September uh, 1917. I think that's probably the best bit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.